Nanakuma! Damn, I was almost there. I'm Katsuki Fujimoto, a 21-year-old college student who works part-time at a pub. I don't take shifts late at night, but today, I missed the last train because a large group of people had to party at the pub. Four hours until the first train? I should go to a family restaurant. Phew! Just an hour has passed. My phone will die soon. How should I kill time? I fell asleep. Why is she looking around like that? There are many empty seats. Huh? Help me. Huh? What? What do you mean? Um, I'm running away. From what? You stabbed someone? No. I'm sorry, but I'm so worked up that I can't tell you the details. She's glancing out the window. Okay, uh, what can I do for you? Um, I need to hide. Huh? I know this will sound very rude, but would you mind taking me home? <gasps> Please, I'll repay you. I'll do anything. Uh, anything? Please. I don't know what's going on, but you'll calm down if you come to my place, right? Yeah. I was gonna go back home anyway. Come with me. Thank you. It's messy. Give me a minute to clean the place. Let me help you. Thanks. Then could you put the trash together? Sure. He's approachable. Thanks for your help. No prob. I told you I'd do anything to repay you. You know... Yeah? The girl shouldn't say I'll do anything to a man. Some might get the wrong idea. Yeah. Okay, what were you running away from? Walk me through it. Actually... She started telling me her story, nearly inaudible. To put it simply, she's Reina Koyanagi, a 20-year-old college student whose boyfriend is so possessive that he forces her to stay beside him for days sometimes. She ran out of patience three months after they started dating, so she grabbed the least stuff she'd need and snuck out of their apartment while he was asleep. What did you bring? My wallet, bank book, and smartphone. Okay, just what you need. I didn't want to wake him up by packing all my stuff. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have brought some of my clothes. Don't be. You were smart. Did you block his phone number? Y yeah and I deleted the GPS app from my phone. Ew, he did that? I thought he was just worried about me at first. He showed you his true self. Yeah. Maybe you can go to your parents' house. I'm from the countryside. I lived by myself here. Um, did you tell the police about them? I once did because I realized he was too much to handle, but... They told me that romance isn't their jurisdiction. They would. Okay, so what are you gonna do? My boyfriend has cancelled my apartment contract. I don't have an apartment to live in anymore. Would you mind if I moved in with you? Huh? Please, just until I find a new apartment. Um, sorry. As you can see, my place isn't spacious and has only one room. I have only one set of a futon, so we can't do that. I'll buy a futon set myself. My parents send me money for the rent. I'm a man. I won't invade your privacy. I have a part-time job. I come back home late. I'll do all the chores. Say something. Anything. I don't think I can find another good-hearted man like him. Please. I have no one else to turn to. Why me of all people? Ah, right. I talked to you because I just saw you getting ready to leave the restaurant. That's why. And the way you talk and your personality, I thought I could trust you. I'm not lying. Hmm. Please? Can you promise you'll find a new apartment as soon as possible? Yeah, I can. Okay, you can stay until then. Thanks. Yay! Things will be harder to handle. Two weeks have passed since she started living with me with a limited term. I let her wear my clothes so she doesn't have to walk around butt naked, but she has trouble looking for apartments and going out to buy clothes because she's afraid to go out alone. Instead, she voluntarily does the chores. Honestly, she's really helpful. I had a pretty busy day. I'm so tired. I'll take a quick shower and go to bed. Oh! Ah! Sorry, I forgot she's here. Damn. Um. Uh. Hey. 
Hi. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, sorry. I can hear my heartbeat. I'll take a shower. You can go to bed. Huh? Okay. It's fine if it's you, though. I'm really sorry about last night. Don't worry, it's my fault, too. I was kind of hoping you'd do that someday, actually. Thanks. By the way, have you been going to college since you moved in? Actually, no. I don't want to run into him. Right. We have to do something about him. I'm thinking of asking my parents if I can take a break from college. You'll get them all worked up. How? Are you going to tell them why? You can't tell them that your boyfriend kind of confined you. They'll want you to quit college and come back to them. I didn't give it a thought. By the way, what college do you go to? Nanakuma College. Oh, me too. What's your major? Education. I'm a sophomore. I've never seen you at college. Your major is also education? Yeah, I'm a junior though. What about your boyfriend? He majors in chemistry. Huh, then it might work. Really? You two don't take classes in the same building. I guess it'll be okay unless you walk around during break time. I'll be with you when I can. But... You want to take your classes, right? That's what your parents pay for. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to college together. Thank you. Did you see your friends? Yeah, they were really worried about me. I know, but I think it's going to work out. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet. It's going to be okay, unless I don't let my... Beta! Kenya-kun, what are you? I was watching you from a distance. Who is this guy? I know you're cheating on me. And you even left my apartment. So this is the guy? I never cheated on you. And I'm gonna break up with you. What? What did this man tell you? This is my own decision. I won't be convinced so easily. Um, hello? Shut up and piss off. You know, I'm older than you, by the way. It's not an issue here. Well, right. Why don't we talk about this somewhere we can have some privacy? You stay out of this. You're causing everyone trouble. Come with me. Hey, let go of me. Who are you? I'm Fujimoto, a junior. I'm temporarily living with Koyanagi-san. What? I heard you were confining her, and you installed a GPS app on her smartphone. What's bad about it? She's a special person to me. I'm just worried about her. You're overly paranoid. That's why she was fed up and left you. Why? I love her so much, I just wanted to cherish her. I know how you feel, just you forgot to think about how she'd feel. Maybe I forced my rules and stuff onto her. If you can see it that way, it's not too late. Reina, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's okay. I'm sorry I left you without telling you anything. Can we give it another try? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid to go through the same thing. Okay, I'll promise I'll change. I'll talk to you after I did. Okay. Do they need me here? You should make sure you're better than Fujimoto-san then. Huh? I knew you two were dating. No, we're not. He's right. We live together, that's all. We're not a couple yet. So you have feelings for him? I do. That's why you need to be better than him. Okay. Okay, you'll pay for this, asshole! And I won't get paid for this. I'm so sorry. I never thought this would happen on the first day. Me neither. But you don't have to be scared anymore. Things have settled down a lot sooner than we thought. Yeah, right. Thank you so much. If you find a new apartment, it's all over. Oh. Huh? You heard what I said, right? Yeah, and what he said to me. You know how I feel about you. Huh? I said I have feelings for you. Uh, you lied to drive him away, right? I gave you so much. I thought you wanted to repay me. You barged into the changing room. I was an idiot. You're oblivious. Oh? I rest assured when I'm beside you. I want to spend more time with you. Um, I feel the same way. Do you think we can... Sure. A little while later, we packed her stuff up and moved from her ex's apartment. After that, we went clothes shopping for her. Let's go into that shop. She looks happy. How cute. What do you think? You look great. Did you even take a look? 
I did. Whatever you wear, you look great. Saying that all of a sudden is against the rules. I just told you what I thought. This is your first time saying that. What do you want me to do? Pick clothes for me. <gasps> I'll become your type of girl. She's so cool. How about this? It's been several days since we started dating and a month since we started living together. I spend my days working, but I'm really happy because I have her. It's a ways off until I visit her parents and we get engaged after she graduates from college. 